What's up guys and welcome back to a very long overdue episode of Shoots with Coops and today we're talking about, uh, for one, where I've been, what's been happening and my new photo book uh, that I have finally had made, it's ready to go, uh, I want to dive into this today and also just cover a few things with you guys. So first and most importantly guys, this is what's been happening. Me and my wife, we had our second son. This is Teddy. He's only two weeks old right now at the recording of this, but uh, that's also part of where I've been, is, you know, being a dad and uh, with Max, with my other son, and now Teddy's here. So some other very exciting news. Hey, buddy. So back to the main topic of today's video, uh, my photo book. So my photo book... Uh, which is titled Local, which is all about the Perth surf scene and culture. It's something, you know, I'm extremely passionate about. Um, you guys know, I'm, you know, I'm always talking about surfing on this channel all the time um, and how much I love it. It's, you know, besides photography, it's my other main, you know, real passion thing that I love to do. And I've always wanted to do a book, a photo book in general, you know, you know for you know, since for, for years I've always wanted to do an actual book, but, you know, finding a topic and making images, it's not something, you know, I feel that you can really go out and just do on a weekend, um, and especially with surfing. It's one of those things that if you want to take, you know, surf photos, it conditions, you've got to wait for the right swell. It's not something you can just do over the course of a couple weekends, um, realistically. You know, if you want to make a, a, a large, you know, body of work, you've got to wait for the right conditions, summer, winter, you name it. So this book is a culmination of years of, of me photographing things that I, I love to photograph. I love to photograph surfing um, and surf culture and things associated with it. So it's all sort of compiled into this book, you know, of, of my favourite images. Now, a lot of the work is actually in the water as well. Now, it's not just, you know, surf photos from the land. You know, a, a lot of photos are from my Nikonos cameras um, and then also my F100 set up in a housing to be able to get in the water. Um, and I have to say, the F100 has to be the single, besides the Nikon F6, which is just ludicrously expensive these days, the F100 has got to be one of the best photographic tools if you're shooting film and you want to do this sort of work. The thing is amazing, whether it be from land using something like this 300 millimeter lens, um, in the water with a 35, 50, 85, it's such a versatile and you know amazingly fantastic performing camera for when it was released and even to this day, you know, I, I shoot the thing all the time. It's so good for capturing those sorts of images that I, I wanted to put into this book. And this is, you know, really a, a labor of love, this book. Um, it's something I've always, just like I said, I've always wanted to make a book. I feel like, you know, making prints and then especially photo books, that's sort of like the final, final frontier, um, so to speak, you know, with photography. Um, you know, instead of just looking at photos on Instagram, looking at photos on your computer screen, you know, I love to collect photo books and I have a huge range of them um, encompassing such a broad variety of topics. You know, there's, there's more modern books, which is digital stuff, then there's books from the 60s and 70s um, when the photos were shot, a lot of 4x5 stuff, and then 35 mil, all that sort of thing. You know, I've got such a broad range of books that I've always wanted to make my own, something I could be proud of to have somebody put in their collection or on their coffee table and read and enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. So the book is a 58 image hard cover 8x10 uh, photo book with some really, really, really beautiful um, fine art paper in it, um, which has been, you know, it's been really, really hard trying to decide what goes in, you know, what goes out of the book. And when when you're talking about thousands of images over, you know, years and years and years, trying to wean them down to some of the best ones, but also not just produce, a, you know, a surf photo book that's, you know, just surfing waves, waves, people catching waves, so on and so on. I really tried to make something that encompasses the culture and, and the local scene here in, in Perth and, and predominantly in the Scarborough area where I live and surf a lot. So culling down such a large amount of images and then doing the layout, it all took quite a, quite a long time. Um, and this why, you know, I've been through two test copies of the book before I got to this one. That's one thing I must stress and recommend to people. If you're going to make a book, test copies. Do the cheap test copies. Uh, ooh, 
for instance. This is a little, you know, a tiny little zine I made about five years ago. Uh, just sort of, you know, out west Australiana type outback stuff. And I just got these super, super cheap little zines made up um, as to gauge sort of, you know, how I like the layout, the photos match next to each other and so on. It's hard to, when, when you're on the computer doing it, it seems like, okay, yeah, this makes sense, but until you actually have the physical thing in your hand or you get all the prints made out and laid out and arrange them, it's definitely a lot different to the staring at the computer screen. And I can't recommend that you guys do that enough if you want to produce your own book or magazine. So guys, I would have overlaid a few images throughout you know, this video showing you some of the highlights from the book. Um, if you want to pick yourself up a copy, there'll be a link at the bottom of this uh, video in the in the description so you can follow it to my website if you want to pick yourself up a coffee copy otherwise uh, if you're on Instagram there's a link through my Instagram page and so on um, international shipping I did originally plan just to do it within Australia but I had a lot of people reach out who wanted it um, in New York and San Francisco and you know, I'm so amazingly grateful and, and ecstatic for that because I really didn't think anyone would want to buy it um, but if you would like to place an order Hit the link. I'm taking orders from now until next Tuesday, so it's just for one week. I'm taking the orders, um, and then the books will be finalised, printed, and shipped out uh, to everyone. So with a bit of luck, everyone who orders one will have their book within the next three weeks. Uh, so guys, like I have to say, thanks to everybody who supported me through this YouTube channel um, over the years. Everyone who's been watching from the start and you know has supported me. If you would love to support my work please pick up a copy. Um, it's something that if you're, you know, if you're into that sort of thing, if you, you know, if you enjoy surfing, beach culture, that sort of, you know, retro thing, you will love this book. Um, I'm very proud of it. And if you pick up a copy, I cannot thank you enough. So guys, thank you from me, Max, Teddy now, and my wife, Emily. Um, if anyone picks up a copy, uh, thank you all very much, guys, and I'll see you soon.